Hi, this is going to be just a video about um, preheating a Optimus 199 with alcohol. Um, the stove on the right is set up with the way the original stove came, with just an open burner cup, uh, an open preheating cup, um, and I've put five milliliters of denatured alcohol in there. Now. Coming back to the stove on the left, I have put in a carbon felt pad to um, act like a wick. Now, something that you can't do with this, and you can see the you can see the, the liquid in there. If you're uh, out and about and you fill up your preheating cup like this. And you bump it or knock it, the fuel's going to go all around the inside of the case, and you're going to have a huge fireball when you light it. Cool thing about the carbon felt pad, you can do that, and nothing comes out. Let me turn it on its side. Nothing comes out. So not only does it act like a wick, but it helps keep the fuel stable and not going to spill all over the place. If you bump it while, you know, it's very easy to bump it while you're trying to light it or fill it or whatever. And, uh, you know, I feel like this is a pretty beneficial upgrade. And uh, not that anyone's going to be carrying these for an ultralight setup, but I weighed the weight of the carbon felt pad that I put in there, and it was one gram. So it's not a whole heck of a lot. So I'm going to put the uh, windscreens back on these stoves, and I'm going to light them up, and we can compare the flames uh, to see if there's any difference and to see which one might burn longer or shorter. Back in a second. Okay, I'm back. I'm going to light both the preheating cups. Sorry about that. That's the uh, flame in the one without the pad. There's the flame in the one with the pad. And uh, so we're just going to kind of see if one burns longer than the other. I'm not going to light the stoves. I'm more interested in seeing if there's any flame difference. That's the one without the pad. Kind of see it bubbling. and I don't know if you can hear that or not, but you can definitely see it. Let's go over to the one with the pad. It's a much more consistent flame. Not spattery or anything. I'll try this one. I don't know if you can see that or not, but some of the flames are kind of going up on the outside of the windscreen. And on this one with the pad, all the flames are really centralized on the burner itself. So this one's, this one's burning pretty wildly compared to the other one. Let's go back to the one with the pad here. So just a nice gentle flame. Okay, let's go back over to the one without the pad. And that one has burned out. There's no more flame in the one without the pad. The one with the pad is still burning. I can see the flame is nice and kind of even and not flaming up super high over the top of the burner. And again, these both had the same amount of fuel, five milliliters. Um, I measured it with this 
fancy dancy syringe that I picked up at the grocery store, uh, at the pharmacy. And, uh, yeah, this one's still burning. The one with the carbon felt pad is still burning. It's just about out. But it did burn a little bit longer. I felt the flame was a little more, I don't know, focused over the tubes of the burner underneath. Now, I have lit the one on the left using the carbon felt pad. So I know that using that amount of fuel will definitely warm up the burner enough to allow it to light right away on kerosene. Now the one on the right I'm just borrowing from a friend of mine, and I know he's used the stove in the past. But again, this is just a comparison test to see if the carbon felt proved to be some kind of better option in, in, in some kind of way. And like I said, the, the best way that I can see it being a, a good choice in in a preheating cup, not necessarily just this one, but anyone really, is that uh, it absorbs the fuel and it doesn't allow it to spill. So if you accidentally bump your stove or knock it over or anything like that, you'll still have the preheating fuel in the cup. And... Um, it won't dump all over the inside of your stove or on the ground, depending on what kind of stove you're using. So, I hope this helps, and uh, enjoy the rest of your day.